Shake it to DJ Mix America.
kings and queens and queens gather on the main stage. We'll be starting the program momentarily. Washington. Come on down, we got plenty of spaces here. We'll be starting our program shortly. So come on down, come on down. I know you're visiting all of our community partners out there. We want to give them a special shout out all throughout the evening. I've said hello to some folks, some friends of ours. Uh, GSBA, ACLU, Utopia, Lavender Rights Project, UW Medicine, Peer Washington, Sound, Oh my gosh, so many people. Sequoia Teen Counseling, my goodness. Pitch Study, Project First, OMG. All right. 
Gather around, people. We've got an incredible lineup for you of speakers, performers, all around entertainment and education. We've been at this for about 10 years. Well, not about exactly 10 years. We're celebrating a decade of trans joy because of each and every one of you. We are celebrating all of you and all of us as a community now more than ever. Come on down now, Seattle. Join us right here on the main stage. Oh, I see people trickling in. Come on. Come on, beautiful people. Where are my uh, LGBT community? Where are my lesbians at? Where are my lesbians at? What about my possessuals? Possessuals. Yes. Yes. What, up the, what about them gays? Where are my gays at? What about intersex people? Oh, yeah! What about our transgender diverse universe? Oh, oh, you're giving me the shivers. Not shingles, just the shivers. <laughs> Speaking of, please get vaccinated. All right, we're gonna finish this uh, classic Janet, courtesy of DJ Mix America. By the way, that's the only time you'll ever hear my voice go butch. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, there's my family. There's my village. Come on down. There's my people. Yeah, we're in the shade here. This is the good shade that you, we want. <laughs> the good shade, the good kind. All right, oh yeah. This is what we call a cool down. DJ Mix America at Trans Pride Seattle, 10 year anniversary. Check her out. Yes, a beautiful round of applause for DJ Mix America. We'll be hearing her beats and tunes all night long. And of course, follow her on the uh, social medias. Yes, there's a lot of them. All right, especially in the multiverse. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Good afternoon, each and every one of you. That is in my native tongue of the Philippines. And my name is Alexa Manila. My pronouns are she and single. You're welcome, not to be confused with shingles, which reminds me again, please get vaccinated. Yeah, be, in, be informed citizens of this world. All right, there's my public health uh, <laughs> announcement for y'all. But in all seriousness, my, my pronouns are she and they, and I am, an, I am a proud member of our Seattle Northwest community of transgender unicorns. And I feel so at home with each and every one of your smiling faces looking back at me. And I'm deeply honored and grateful to see a reflection of my face in your faces. And I hope that you feel the same way. Thank you. And uh, this evening, today, is a very special occasion. It's a celebration, not just of our organization, Gender Justice League, but truly of our community. Thank you so very much. And when I say community, I truly mean including our allies. We are in this together. It takes a village. All right, we're celebrating 10 years. Uh, our, the organizer wanted me to share with you that I was here 10 years ago during the very first uh, Trans Pride. I can't believe it, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years, y'all. Not that we haven't been trans, for only for the last 10 years, of course. We've been, we've been on this universe, this queer universe, this trans universe forever. So, but we get to do this publicly and openly and with, with love, right? Um, I know I'm preaching to the choir, but le much like a choir, it also needs to practice and rehearse. So I just wanted to remind you folks that there are over 500 anti-LGBTQ legislation. 
And when they attack drag queens such as myself, remember that it's an attack on one is an attack on all of us. And so we need all of you, especially our allies out there. You don't have to be LGBTQ to know what violence is. You don't have to be LGBTQ to know what hate is. But what's unfortunate for us is we feel the pain. And so if, we can, we, if you can be on our side and vote for the right people, the good people, right? The good politicians. And we've got some of them tonight. And I'm so honored that, you'll be, that they'll be speaking with us this evening. And, and, and remember, if you're 18 and you're ready to get registered, please register to vote. It is your right. It is your right. It's like one of the vital needs uh, as a human being in this society. And, and if for any reason you can't vote, talk to someone that can and have them vote on your behalf. Vote for people that look like you and believe in the values that you hold dearly in your hearts. All right? Can you make that promise with me? Yes? And lastly, around this, um, you know, often people will say, oh my gosh, you're politicizing it. Well, you know what? Being LGBTQ, BTQ, BTQ, <laughs> is in fact political. Our existence is political. Right? Right? Our very existence is an advocacy. And how, how damning, how damaging to the future if they, if they see us being banned. And, and lastly, Again, I, and I'll repeat this, an attack on one is an attack on all. And, and it's not coincidence. Here we are, they're banning books. They're banning drag queens, right? They're threatening reproductive rights. LGBTQ civil rights is rooted in feminism and people need to rem be reminded of that. And that is why, cis, why the straight people, typically politicians, are threatened by that. So we need to remind them. All right. But enough of that, because there'll be more. <laughs> I know you're all here for some entertainment, right? 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 Awesome. Awesome. It is my honor, on behalf of Gender Justice League and, of course, Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years, to introduce to you the chair of the board of directors at Gender Justice League. Please welcome and give them a rousing welcome right here in Seattle, Sarah Moran. Well, technical difficulties there, folks. I am not quite the entertainment yet. Thank you, Alexa, for that introduction. And look at all these beautiful faces out here. What a gorgeous day. Give yourselves a round of applause, everybody. My name is Sarah Moran, and I, uh, my pronouns are she, her, and I am the board chair of Gender Justice League. And it is my great honor to welcome you all here to Trans Pride Seattle 2023. Uh, we're back on Pride Weekend again. Uh, the last time we did an in-person event on Pride Weekend was 2019. Think about that. That was a lifetime ago. Do you remember the time when nobody knew the word COVID? It's just so much has happened, especially in the past year. As Alexa said, there has been a consistent, coordinated, sustained, and unprecedented attack on our community in state houses across the country. Hundreds of hateful and bigoted anti-trans bills have been proposed, passed, and enacted that are targeting not just our health care, but our ability to exist in public life. And sometimes when I think about that, I get a sense of despair. It, it creeps in, and I think that many of you can probably relate. But despite that, I am hopeful. And the reason I am hopeful is because this community is strong, it is resilient, and it is powerful. They have thrown everything they have against us. And you know what? We're still here. We are still here, and we're not going anywhere. We are seeing the last desperate gasps of a movement that is destined for irrelevance. Their bigotry will not succeed because inclusion is the future, not bigotry, and their hate cannot defeat our authenticity. So, all of you out there, like, we will get through this, because we always do. And all of you out there are being a part of that fight, 
just by being your beautiful selves. So thank you for being you. Thank you for coming tonight. And welcome to Trans Pride Seattle 2023. Now it is my honor to, as, uh, as Alexa said, we have some of the people who are working, fighting the good fight in those state houses across the country. We're going to start off with one from right here in Washington. Coming up next is, uh, sorry, coming up next is the, uh, the senator representing the 21st district of Washington down in Olympia. Please join me in welcoming Senator Marco Leas. Happy Pride! Are there any trans people here? Are there any gender non-conforming people here? Do we have any allies? Are there any plain old gay people here? Okay, good, good. I'm Marco Leas, state senator from South Snohomish County, but I'm also proud to co-chair our legislative LGBTQ caucus. And in our Washington legislature, we have eight openly LGBTQ legislators fighting every day for you, your families, and our community. Yeah, let's give them a round of applause. And I always wondered, why do they let politicians come to these things? Like, don't we just need Alexa Manila for another half hour? Why do they need us? And I came up with the reason why. Because I'm here to tell you, I got elected by the people, and I'm here to tell you on behalf of the people of Washington, we love you. We love you. On behalf of the seven and a half million people in Washington, you matter. Your life matters. Your future matters. Your contributions to our state matter. And that's why we do the work we do, and that's why they let politicians like me come up on stage. I will also share that we had a huge year for advancing the rights of our community in the legislature this session. Yeah, let's give it a round of applause. We passed important protections to make sure that our medical records and our digital data is safe from intrusion, to make sure that what we share online, what we share with our friends is not the subject of searches in those terrible states. We pass laws to say medical providers here are protected from any legal action for providing gender affirming care and reproductive care because we want to stand with our medical providers so that they can stand with us. And one of the most right wing controversial but the most common sense bills we passed said we're going to provide shelter for trans youth when they're homeless. We don't care what circumstances they face, we're going to make sure they're safe and sheltered. And I have some good news that passed the legislature and the governor signed it into law. Yeah. And I have a little bit of bad news. The haters aren't giving up. And they're trying to collect signatures to put it on the ballot this fall. And so I'm just here to pre-warn us in case they succeed, I'm going to need all you fighting to make sure that trans kids can hold on to the protections we gave them this session. It'll be called Referendum 101. If you hear that, we like 101. We're pro 101. I also, and I had a chance to talk to some great LGBT business owners last week at GSBA. I feel like we spend too much time during Pride talking about how shitty the world is. And so I want to give you permission today to just dance your ass off and enjoy who we are and be in community because the other 364 days will still be there, but we only get one day for trans pride. So let's live it up. Let's enjoy it. Let's party with Alexa and the crowd. And if you're an ally, you can spend some, today, day to, some time today educating yourself. But for those of us that are queer, just let your hair down or put it up and enjoy yourself, because this is our moment of community. We need to recharge, because we've got a lot of fights ahead. We, gotta f we have to fill the cup back up, so we have strength to keep going. I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm too big, I'm fucking the signal. 
Um, we have to fill our cup up, and that's what this day is here for. There's amazing tents with amazing providers. Go check them out, support them, and just, just relish, just marinate in how awesome it is to be who we are. Um, I'm also so excited because we have a superhero of the LGBTQ movement, and particularly a superhero of the movement for trans rights, who's come back to Seattle to be with us. Uh, Zoe Zephyr from Montana is really how great she is because she got an amazing UW education. So we all get to take credit as taxpayers of Washington for helping Zoe Zephyr get her start. But we have all witnessed exactly what we know the haters are all about, which is they know when we tell the truth, when we let our light shine, when we speak up, that people will believe us and they'll join us and they'll support us. So what do they wanna do? They wanna silence us. They wanna take our voices away. And they've tried to do that to Zoe, but because of you and millions of people across this country, we hear Zoe louder than ever before. And I'm so excited to have her here in Seattle. I'm so excited to have her here at Trans Pride. And I'm so, just beyond grateful that we have amazing trans leaders stepping up to lead this movement nationwide, keep us moving forward and making progress. You all are awesome. You all are amazing. Can we give an amazing, huge Seattle Trans Pride welcome to Representative Zoe Zephyr from Missoula, Montana. Welcome. Hi, Seattle. It is so good to be back here, the place I went to high school, the place I went to college, and for a long time um, felt like home. Um, I am, oh gosh, where do I start? I will start with the question that has been the most common question I have received since my censure in the legislature. And that question was, are you okay? How are you doing? How are you holding up amidst it all? And I wanna come before everyone here at Trans Pride and say, I feel light. I feel a joy in the work. <laughs> and I feel, quite frankly, a sense of hope that did not feel possible two years ago for me when I first decided to run for office. And that can be a weird thing to say in the face of a year when we've had 530 pieces of legislation targeting the queer community, largely targeting the trans community. And so I want to take a moment and say why I feel that hope and what that hope means to me. And to me, the first part of hope is it cannot be something you have while looking away from what we are facing. The first step of hope is acknowledging the reality of the attacks against us. And we see these attacks for what they are. They are an attempt by the far right to paint a very narrow vision of America, one that is built on exclusion, one that is built on hate. And we see it manifest in its attacks against the trans community as attacks on our past, attacks on our presence, and attacks on our futures. When you ban a book like Gender Queer, a memoir, you are banning an individual's history, someone who has not felt heard or seen in this country and is telling their story and sharing it with others. That is robbing someone of their past. When you ban drag, you are banning an art form that is integrally connected to what it means to be queer in America. It is tied to our history in this nation. And you ban our collective histories. There are also attacks on our present. We have seen like in Florida, the bathroom ban. In my state of Montana, Senate Bill 458 misdefined sex as binary and applied it to 40 sections of code, banning us updating our birth certificates, our marriage licenses, and again, banning our presence, our ability to move through the world again and again. That bill also banned our futures. There was a section of that bill about internment records upon death. I am blessed to be with my beautiful fiance, Erin Reed, sitting in the corner over there. 
and we have a seven-year-old. And I dream of a life that is long and happy. And when I pass away, I would love my tombstone to say, here lies Zoe Zephyr, beloved wife, beloved mother, etc., etc." But my state wants to say, sure, have all of that. But on the back end, we're going to say male. That is robbing us of our futures. And there's no more clearer example of robbing our futures than when you ban gender-affirming care for trans youth. I stood up. That is why I stood up on Senate Bill 99 and said, if you force a trans teen to go through the wrong puberty, that is tantamount to torture, and there is blood on your hands. That is not hyperbolic. That is not political rhetoric. That is the real consequence of the votes we take as legislators. And we have to look at the totality of the attacks against us before we can turn to hope. And why do I have hope despite the fact that I see that litany of attacks? It's because I see the response. I see the way those attacks have been rejected in my community and in my groups in the legislature. There were two groups in my legislature that stood up for my, uh, to defend me immediately. The first was my local union, my public employees union. <laughs> Damn right. And the unions knew clearly. They said, we know what it looks like when the powerful use every tool at their disposal, right or wrong, to silence a group. We see that here uh, around the country with you know, Seattle's own Starbucks leveraging uh, their power against the Starbucks Workers United. Um, we also, the second group that stood up for me was the American Indian Caucus. They stood up and very clearly in the first meeting said, <laughs> in the first meeting, uh, Representative Stuart Paraguay said, we know what this is. This is the path to fascism. This is so very clearly what it is. And well, trans people are the target of the day politically by the extremists on the right. We know that if there are two original sins to reckon with in this country, they are the attacks on the black community and the attacks on the indigenous community. They see it for what it is, and they know that we have to stand together. It's why the right is so insistent on trying to peel the tea away from the LGB, because they know that together we are stronger. And they're failing at it largely. They're failing because we recognize the attacks as being an echo of attacks in the 80s and 90s. The way in which the same handful of political detransitioners get flown around like the same, quote, ex-gays were flown around, flown around in the 90s. The way rhetoric, like today they call us groomers, was recruiting back in the 80s and 90s. We see that language for what it is, and we stick together as a community. That gives me hope. The second thing that gives me hope is I see the response from the people who aren't politicians. There was someone at the Capitol, a Republican went and wrote an op-ed and said, oh, just think about the pages who were sitting there, 16-year-olds and 17-year-olds, they must have been terrified. Well, when I was censured and sat in the hallway, every page came up to me with a letter and said, thank you, I see what you're fighting for. I have been blessed to go to my hometown Pride and see someone who came up to me in a beautiful trans cape and said, I had been scared in small town Montana, far cry from Seattle here, but I've been scared in small town Montana to wear my cape. And then I saw leaders standing up and suddenly it felt a little bit safer. I could have a little more courage. I had a lovely security guard at a hotel I was staying at. Um, it was midnight, I was checking in, very sleepy, and all of a sudden the security guard looks at me and just starts tiptoeing his way over to me inch by inch, and he leans over and he just whispers, the National Guard has your back. <laughs> and you turn and look and you're like, that's okay, there's... There's a couple connections here. That's not just a Pride Festival. That's someone, a separate group. And then I was in Glacier National Park recently, out in Montana. And, 
Woo for our national parks, yes, indeed. <laughs> Um, we are queering the parks as well. Um, but someone came up to me. I pulled off to the side of the road, and they walked out, and he pointed, and he went, Zoe Zephyr. And he goes, I'm a Republican, through and through and through and through. And he listed off all of the moderate Republicans. Let me, actually, let me get bigger air quotes. <laughs> all the moderate Republicans. And he was like, that's my kind of Republican. But I want you to know, I'd, I'd sit on that bench for you every day. And I went, okay, here we go. We've got connections here across the lines. And that, to me, is a piece of the hope. And I see, when I see the way in which the bills are rejected by the community, it lets me know that these folks are out of step with what most people are interested in. People who go to the parks to experience the world's beauty are not interested in hate. And I think that's why we see such an aggressive response. Because if they are not winning policy arguments, they clearly do not have a moral high ground if they are not rooted in love, suddenly we see, like we saw in Montana, like we saw in Oklahoma with Representative Maury Turner, like we saw in Tennessee with Representative Pearson, Representative Jones, that it's not enough for them to just pass a policy when you are losing the community fights. You want to silence the people who are holding you accountable. And that's why it was so important in those moments to stand. And quite frankly, why it was so easy to stand. Because when you are on the right side of history, it is easy to do the right thing. And la as a last note, what I want to say is that when I talk hope, I do not want people to think that hope is an endpoint. That hope is this thing that we have and it magically makes things better. Hope is a seed we plant. Hope is the fire that has to be at the center of us as we go forward. It does not solve our problems, but is the fuel we need to change the world. And you cannot stand and go into the legislature and hope but be inactive. Hope, but say, oh, well, the polling's not quite right on trans rights. When we defend our community, we defend our community in totality. Because we know they are looking for an injection point. We know they're wanting to say, trans people deserve health care, but maybe not the youth. Or trans, trans women are women, but maybe not in sports. The people who are after us want to push us back in the closet entirely. And we stand together, rooted in hope and rooted in community, and that's how we do the work. So going forward tonight, I know Pride is a lovely celebration, and I know as my fiance says again and again, our joy is part of that resistance. So I want to feel the joy tonight, I want to be in community with each and every one of you tonight, and I wanna thank you for doing the work here and in every room that you are a part of. So thank you Seattle so much, happy Pride. Friends and family of Seattle Trans Pride, Montana State Representative Zoe Zephyr. And congratulations on your engagement. Congratulations. Thank you for sharing your joy with us. Congratulations, Zoe and Aaron. Hi, everyone. It looks like you multiplied. Hello. You're testing my math skills. Um, I'm only an Asian dragon, I'm not really good with math. But uh, if you're just now joining us, welcome to Trans Pride Seattle. We are celebrating 10 years of Trans Pride Seattle, brought to you by Gender Justice League. Uh, we had a welcome speech uh, by our board chair, Sarah Moran, and we had some inspirational words from State Senator Marco Elias, and of course, Montana State Representative Zoe Zephyr. Let's give them a big round of applause. All right, to give us some 70s underground queer performance, please give it up for Penny Lee. Ain't enough to say that I think of you.
to follow them on all the socials at Penny Lee, P-E-N-N-Y-L-Y. -Y. I don't know about you all, but I, that made me feel a little thirsty. <laughs> I think that's what uh, the kids call, uh, that was some uh, sexy time music. Sexy time music. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Welcome to Transpired Seattle 10-year anniversary. My name is Alexa Manila and welcome to the amphitheater right here in a historic volunteer park in the heart of Seattle's Capitol Hill. Well, speaking of sexy people, where's my sexy people at? Wow, wow, incredible. You're all amazing. I want to give a special shout out to our ASL interpreters. Thank you so very much. Thank you. And also, if you're noticing, we've got some uh, QR codes on either side of the stage. And it's uh, for our virtual program if you want to follow along. And we'll try to get you back on track on our time. And of course, we've got DJ Mix America on my left right here. Speaking of sexy people. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, speaking of sec more sexy people, we're going to give you not one, but five of them. Joining me on stage right now are Cam, Sam, Archie, Lily, and Cass. 
Together, they are the Seattle's five-piece trans punk band, and they are known as Gender Envy. As soon as you get situated, we're going to start with one guitar at a time, just so we can do a line check. And then Lars is up there. He's going to help you with your monitor mixes. guitar please Make sure that mic is switched on. Hello, hello. How's everybody feeling for Pride, Trans Pride? How we feel in Seattle? Can you guys hear me okay? Can you hear me a lot? <laughs> a little bit of feedback. That's okay, it's punk.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. On du toi. Oh, hello. I love you too. Hi. Cool. So we're going to run through the first track, and if you need monitor wedges, mixes edited after that, just flag Lars down and I'll help you out. Cool. Thanks for rolling with us on this very hot start. All right. <clears throat> All right, so we've already been introduced, but we are a band called Gender Envy. Um, and are we checking this or are you doing the whole thing? The whole thing. Okay, so this is our song um, that we wrote, and it's called Gimme. <laughs> to switch bases. Our, the bassist in our band is out of town, so we thought, instead of having one trans bassist, what if you had two? <laughs> hmm? Oh yeah, so that was Belle of Some Fucking Vegan, which is another band. Um, and they're fucking awesome, and they filled in for us, so thank you, Belle. Everybody say thank you, Belle. Yeah. It really is such an honor to be up here on this stage with so many amazing people and also up here for our community. Like, this is really what matters to us and this is why we do this, so it's just really like mind-boggling to be up here. So thank you guys for coming. Uh, 
Um, I love you, Jendren. I love you, Bell. Oh, yeah, the next basis is Shred. If you can't tell from the name alone, he's going to kill it. <laughs> So what's the deal with airline food? <laughs> it's always on an airplane. Don't worry guys, just two basis. We'll only do this once. Ready? Okay. Um, this is our next song. It's our newest song and it's called Animal Control.
Our next one's called Mads Mikkelsen from NBC's Hannibal. Any Hannibal fans out there? Let's go. one um, and I'm gonna need you guys to get involved for this one you'll know when just just be stay tuned Keep my face! 
on helping you. Hope it's hot as a girl in July. By Gerard Wayne, you know what he says? In the face of extermination, say fuck you! I repeat, on the face of extermination, say fuck you! Fuck you. You heard him? We're gonna say fuck you! All together! We're gonna chant it, okay? It's like fuck! beautiful and we're fucking staying that way. Once again, we are gender happy. Thank you so much for having us. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's Cam, Sam, Archie, Lily, and Cass. And together they are gender envy. Oh my gosh. What are, what are they feeding these kids? Oh my God, this is why I don't perform in drag anymore. I can't keep up with that. Thank you, thank you. Let's give them a bit, another big round of applause. Gender Envy. Oh my gosh. Ooh. I feel like my, uh, my thyroid fell off the stage. I don't even know where to put it back. <laughs> don't look at me, I'm not a nurse, I'm just Filipino. All right, my name is Alexa Manila. Welcome to Transpride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of joy with Gender Justice League. I'm seeing some familiar faces. Awesome, awesome. You're also beautiful. Uh, my friend Yari Jones is in the house. Yari Jones is a, an out and proud trans Filipino black model. There she is! Girl, stand up, stand up, come here, come here. Come here. You're going to help me introduce our next guest. Yari, Yari. All right. The second you see her on stage with me, you'll recognize her. Her face and body, Adi, Adi, was on a Calvin Klein ad in the middle of Times Square. And she was just featured a full freaking spread in Vogue Philippines. Hi, sweetheart. I met this beautiful creature in New York at the Glad Media Awards. Hi, I want to give you the microphone. Oh my gosh. Hello, darlings. Hello, Seattle. So happy to be here. Oh my God. What a pleasant surprise. Okay, you're going to uh, help me introduce our, our girl. Yes. All right. Uh, we were just talking Filipinese. Sorry. <laughs> That's what happens when you speak other dialects and languages. But anyway, uh, again, welcome to Seattle uh, uh, Pride, uh, Trans Pride. Oh my gosh, now, now I'm speechless. Blah, 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 blah. That's the Tagalog for welcome, happy Pride. <laughs> <laughs> Our next incredible singer, you, uh, you may have seen her and heard her. She was on season 14 of NBC's The Voice. She hails from Los Angeles by way of uh, Philippines. And she was the first, and as far as we know, the only out trans contestant on The Voice. 
She was also featured in a PBS documentary that's been GLAAD nominated in PB, uh, PBS production. It was also Emmy nominated. It was called Caretakers, directed by out and proud uh, trailblazer, trans leader and advocate, Gino Rosero, who just released her book, Horse Barbie, hashtag Horse Barbie, check it out. And so I'm gonna give the microphone to you so you can say her name, because I think you'll, have, uh, you'll, you'll give it better justice. So, <laughs> she's already messing it up. <laughs> Anyway, as you can tell, we are amongst friends, and I hope that you feel the warmth of our family here at, at <laughs> Seattle Trans Pride. Oh, my goodness. So please give it up and give her a very warm Seattle welcome to... Angel Vanilla! <laughs> Thank you, Yari. Happy Pride! Some people live for the fortune Some people live just for the fame some people live for the power, yeah. Some people live just to play the game. Some people think to the physical things define what within. And I've been there before, but a life so born. So full of a superficial Some people want it all But I don't want nothing at all Feeling you, baby Frank on you, baby Some people want tambourines And some just want everything But everything means nothing If I ain't got Search for a fountain, promises forever young. Some people need three dozen royal process, and that's the only way you prove you love them. Help me the world on a silver platter. pride once again and um thank you for all coming here tonight and i'm so happy to be here um i'm going to sing um a couple of more songs if you know it uh, feel free to sing with me 
Strumming my pain with his fingers, singing the life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my whole life with his words, killing me softly. With this song I heard he sang a good song I heard he had a style And so I came to see him Young boy, strangers to my eyes, strumming my pain with his fingers, singing my life with his words, killing me softly with his song, killing me softly with his song, telling my with his words killing me softly with this song oh, I felt a flush with fever embarrassed by the crowd I feel that he found my sing my last song, I would like to thank Trans Pride, the, organi the organizers. Thank you for 
bringing me here. It's an honor to be here tonight. And, you know, um, I'd like to tell to everyone that you are all amazing. And it's amazing to be you. It's, it's my last chance for romance tonight. I need you by me, beside me. tired today blame her we were eating dim sum in the middle of Chinatown at 3 a.m. It, so it's her fault and I love her for it Angel how does it feel to serenade your friends and fans here in Seattle it's an honor to be here I see a lot of beautiful people tonight and uh, uh, what's next where can we see you and then if we're traveling down in LA uh, what can we check out? I hear you are now a uh, businesswoman. <laughs> yes, so I am actually the co-founder and, I mean, not co-founder. I'm the founder <laughs> and the owner of Lucky Brides. So my bridal boutique in downtown LA just opened last March. And right now I'm busy, you know, with that. That's awesome. I hear somebody just get, just got engaged, Zoe and Aaron, so maybe. <laughs> nice, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right. Family discount. There you go. Thank you so much. Thank Marami you. Salam Thank you for having Angel. me. I love you so much. Mwah. Are you all having a good time, Seattle? Welcome once again to Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of joy. Brought to you by Gender Justice League. 
My name is Alexa Manila. We've been uh, entertained by all of our speakers and our entertainers. Uh, DJ Mix America was with us, and now we have DJ Excessive. Hey, hey, hey. All right, that's my butch voice. All right, <laughs> all right. Our next incredible uh, guest speaker has been paving the way for the youth in our community. At 13, they lobbied state senators and representatives and since then has continued to advocate on a local, state, and federal level for trans and queer youth. She was the first trans teenager to testify before the Senate and that was in 2021. Please give an incredible warm welcome to Stella Keating. Happy Trans Pride. Now I know we can get more excited about Trans Pride. Happy Trans Pride! I know that's right. Hi, I'm so excited to be here today um, and to be in community. Finally, it's been so long. Um, I Tonight, I just really hope that people can walk away with a sense of belonging and a sense of uh, connection. And I also really want to share what the Gender Justice League has meant to me. Um, when I was 10 years old, I first met Danny Eschini and heard about Gender Justice League, and I was convinced that they were superheroes. And that's not far from the truth. I think I was 11 years old the first time I marched with Gender Justice League and attended Trans Pride in my rainbow butterfly wings, and it was the most amazing feeling to be surrounded by trans and non-binary people of all ages, and it was honestly magical. We were fighting for the bathroom boogeyman back then, and uh, that was the first time that my parents had to think about where we could go that was safe for me and my family. And it wasn't the last time. My family knew that sharing our story was one of the most important and powerful things we could do to help people understand kids like me. And, um, I'm sorry, I'm really excited and nervous to be up here. Um, I've been sharing my story for uh, over 11 years in the media, in, at school board meetings, at city council meetings, and at the state capitol. My motivation has always been to help people grow and learn and let other kids like me know that they are not alone. In 2018, I was incredibly honored to receive the Youth Justice Award, and that was the first time that I ever got to give a speech and the excitement I felt then is something that I have carried with me all of these years later. I met, I have so many people to thank, uh, and I have my parents who are both here today. Thank you for all your love and support. Um, I am, just thank you. And I would also, I would not be the woman that I am without you. I just, I love you. I also want to thank the Gender Justice League. You have helped sh show me that I too can be a superhero. Thank you for all your hard work and always believing in me. Fighting for equality feels different right now. This year has been the most difficult year yet for LGBTQ plus people, especially trans people, and most importantly, trans kids. Kids like me. We faced attacks from hundreds of Republican legislators across the country. These bills are trying to shove us back into the shadows. Finding hope can feel hard, and in the 20 states that have passed gender-affirming care bans, almost impossible. Two years ago, I was riding off of a high, one that can feel difficult to, con to, to connect to today. Making history as the youngest trans teen to testify before the U.S. State Senate, or the U.S. Senate, was an unbelievable experience. The experience my testimony had on me and countless others gave me so much hope for possibility we had been missing for such a long time. Having the impact I did was surreal and it still doesn't feel real. When I was preparing for that moment, I never considered that I would be making history. I was focused on doing a job and not freezing up. <laughs> and honestly, that was just my main focus helping doing my part. My testimony was about more than just me. 
I remember my friend and mentor, Speaker Lori Jenkins, called me before the hearing. She told me that no matter what happened, if I made a mistake or gave a bad answer to a question, I was not going to hurt the movement. There was nothing I could do to hurt the work that has already been done. Lori told me to just represent me, to be Stella. That was the most important thing that I could do. What we're facing today has reached new levels of extremism, and that feels pretty bleak at just 18 years old. But I keep thinking about our queer elders who faced unimaginable odds to achieve justice and equality. Elders like Bayard Rustin, James Baldwin, Audre Lorde, Miss Major Sylvia Rivera, Marsha P. Johnson, Harvey Milk, and Mama Gloria Allen. Knowing our history is so important. What we face in the moment can feel overwhelming. That does not mean that we are powerless. I have to remind myself that progress doesn't happen in a straight line. Luckily for us, I mean, it would suck if it did get straight. <laughs> progress is hard to measure, it's not tangible or linear, and when we're in the thick of the fight, seeing progress can feel impossible. What I'm learning to recognize is progress comes in bursts. But just because there's a lot of misinformation in state capitals across the country does not mean that there is no hope. I'm extremely proud to be part of the Gender Cool Project as a Gender Cool Champion. The Gender Cool Project is a movement led by youth replacing misinformed opinions with positive and powerful experiences meeting remarkable young people who happen to identify as transgender and non-binary. The Gender Cool Champions are leading the conversation around the world. We are breaking through to millions of people who have said that they have never met a transgender or non-binary person. They often will feel conflicted about the things that they read. At Gender Cool, we're focusing on who transgender and non-binary youth are as successful and thriving people. It's because of my work with the Gender Cool Project that led me to the incredible opportunity to testify before the Senate. I'm one of 20 trans and non-binary champions who inspire me every day. Their talents and passions blow me away. They're, each one of us is so different from one another. We're not a monolith. We are diverse in all aspects of our lives. We are also each other's biggest cheerleaders. I started at Gender Cool at just 12 years old, a seventh grader with a, in a small middle school just trying to figure herself out. Fast forward to today, I graduated high school one week ago. And I'll be heading to college in the fall. I didn't get here on my own. The opportunities and doors that have been opened to me are due to the tireless efforts to change school policies, anti-discrimination protections, access to health care, removing barriers for name changes, and gender markers on IDs and documentation. I'm benefiting from I am benefiting from years of, and years of work from people that I may never know. If you are one of those people in the crowd today, I want to thank you. Will you all help me thank those who have fought for our rights for trans liberation? Thank you! I'm really proud to get to live in Washington State. I feel so valued and protected by our legislature. We have senators like Marco Leas, who we just heard from earlier today, and State Senator uh, Yasmin Trudeau, who's actually my own senator. We have legislators within and outside the LGBTQ community sponsoring legislation and advancing rights, access, and barriers for all LGBTQ residents, their families, and those in need of political refuge. Our governor has sworn to protect trans kids by signing a shield law protecting gender-affirming care and abortion access to those seeking it, and medical professionals providing critical, life-saving care. We also have a rich community of queer people who stand up and fight for our rights. I know it gets hard, but remember, we are never alone. I know that a lot of people say that Gen Z is going to save us, but I actually think it's my generation that gets the, gets, to build, gets the opportunity to build on progress that has already been made. Progress that we are inheriting, which is something that we cannot take for granted. It's something that must be safeguarded and protected, and the fall of Roe has taught us that, if nothing else. I want to end this by saying thank you to every single person here today. 
Thank you for living your authentic self, for standing up, and for speaking out. I feel so incredibly lucky to get to be part of such a resilient community. We've been fighting for our rights for so long, and some may see that as a struggle, but I see it as our strength. We never stop fighting. We've been knocked down hundreds of times for multiple generations, and we get back up every time. We come back stronger and even more ready to fight. We come from powerful, beautiful, and brilliant people with a deep history. Now let's make them proud! Thank you, everyone! And thank you, Stella Keating. Thank you so much. Thank you for incredible words of inspiration. Our next act, and oh, we're getting set up. Oh, awesome, awesome. Welcome once again to Trans Pride Seattle, right here in the heart of Seattle's Capitol Hill in Volunteer Park. How you doing, Seattle? Thank you. My name is Alexa Miller, and I'm so honored to be part of Gender Justice League's 10-year anniversary of Trans Pride Seattle. Our next act is the first, and as far as we know, the only all trans choir and they are called stands choir which stands for seattle transgender and non-binary chorale ensemble so please give it up for stands choir <laughs> Cuando con los palos y los tumba 
pa' coco. Rap, 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 te metemos unos pocos. Si esta pelúa me da, baby, yo te bodo. No venga pa' el padre si estás en periodo. Tú ves tu maceta, camina con los codos. Mami, si te pela, te voy a untar el yodo. Y chiri, chiri, pan, chiri, pan, pan, chiri, pan, chiri, pan, pan, chiri, pan, chiri, pan, pan, chiri, chiri, pan, chiri, pan, pan, chiri, pan, chiri, pan, 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 Blomey, I am the artistic director of Stance. We are a new organization. We just had our first set of concerts last weekend, which went wonderfully. If you were there, hey, thank you for being there. Uh, we are so happy to be here with you right now. So we have three selections from our recent choir concert for you tonight. Yeah, I guess it's night. It doesn't look like night, but it is night. Uh, we have I Dream a World by Rosephany Powell, which is a setting of Langston Hughes' poem of the same name. Uh, we will be following that up with the theme song from the video game Civilization VI called Sonio di Vlare. And then we will wrap up the set with a song called You Will Be Found from the musical Dear Evan Hansen. So, we hope you enjoy. We are Stance, 
and we are very happy to be here. Oh, yeah. 
Let the lonely feeling wash away Cause maybe there's a reason to believe you'll be okay And when you don't feel strong enough to stand You can reach, reach out your hand
Special shout out to our accompanist, Mikey Prince. And our executive director, Haven Wilvish, without whom none of this would be possible. Thank you. Have a great night. Once again, stands choir, Seattle Trans and Non-Binary Choral Ensemble. The first and only all trans choir here in the Northwest. Thank you so very much. As they're making their exit, welcome once again. My name is Alexa Manila and welcome to Trans Pride Seattle. We're celebrating 10 years. This is brought to you by Gender Justice League. This was started in 2012 by a group of longtime trans, queer, and allied activists. And some of you may already know this, but I want to remind folks that Gender Justice League has focused on elevating civil and human rights for trans and gender diverse people through advocacy efforts, creating community, and shared leadership development. Uh, we're about to share a video with all of you. So all eyes on the main stage. Welcome to Trans Pride, everyone. My name is Sam, and my pronouns are she, her, and I am the board treasurer for the Gender Justice League. My name is Zane. My pronouns are they, them, and he, him. I am from Washington State, and I am currently the board secretary. Hi, I'm Aussie, and my pronouns are Aussie. I am a board member of the Gender Justice League, the organization that is putting on this event, this amazing trans pride. I've always wanted to say that this is the best part of pride, and Gender Justice League is what makes that happen. I really wish I could be there with you all to celebrate. I heard you have a great lineup this year and I am so jealous. I'm not going to be there to participate with you all. If you are interested in being on the board, you can check out our website. And if you are wondering how you can help support the organization as well as our local communities, want to hit up the donation link and text the word GIVE to 206 5903977. So thank you so much for being here and thank you for your support and your donations. I want to wish you all happy Pride. Have a good time, everyone. Welcome to Trans Pride Seattle. Stay safe and have an awesome, awesome time. Enjoy it. So again, text GIVE to 206 590 And please visit us online at genderjusticeleague.org. And we've invited some of, the, of our community partners this evening for Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10, our 10 year anniversary. We've got our friends from Lavender Rights Project, from uh, Diversity Alliance of Puget Sound, and the Trans Women of Color Solidarity Network. If we can invite them on stage, what are our lovely folks? We're gonna give them the microphone and share more information about their incredible organizations here in the Northwest. We've got Lavender Rice Project coming up, y'all. Jalen, happy Trans Pride. All right. It's so good to be with you all. How y'all doing out there? Hey, that's a little, that's a little light. How y'all doing out there? Hey, there we go. Um, thank you, Gender Justice League, again, for gathering us, even when very understaffed. Um, and you always come through. 
year after year after year to make sure that we have a place to land as community. Y'all are doing some solid ass work. Please give it up for them. I am Jalen Scott. I'm the executive director of Lavender Rights Project, and I'm joined by hey, and I'm joined by Aries Dial, our board secretary. I'm proud. We are proud to represent our mostly Black trans staff and all that they do for this city. I am simply a figurehead, right? I'm so proud of how they continually show up in spite of facing the same challenges uh, as the people that we serve. We are a black trans-led uh, majority org working for the entire black community and the entire trans community for every single one of you here and we're moving through the lens of black trans feminism. I wanna remind you just briefly all of our work, our housing work, our economic justice work, our abolition work is all for you. Because I always say when you get it right for black trans people, you're gonna get it right for every single one of us here. Is that right? With all that's going on y'all, I just wanna let you know we will continue to build and this building, building is and will always be the answer of black community to state oppression. Yep, please visit our table, follow us on social media, please follow black trans orgs, black trans led orgs across the country and support them when they reach out. I'm gonna be really brief and just wrap up. This moment feels tough, but it's not any different from the moments that trans communities of color have experienced throughout the history of this country, right? We, black and other communities of color, have been able to hold joy and fierce resistance together. Since the civil rights movement for black people, since our enslavement, it's in our blood, and we have thrived in spite of it. I just want to remind y'all, we are going to thrive. Yeah. Our answer to all that's happening is to be black as hell, right? Yeah to laugh hard, to create more, and to outlive their hate. And let their rage, let their nastiness fuel our joy and resistance. Yeah. A quick call to action. I think this is really for trans organizations and movement builders. There's a lot of you here doing a lot of work. I am so proud to see the many nonprofits like Gender Justice League lift up black trans leadership. Black leaders have deep experience of joyful and sustained resistance that we all, in, all here, out here, that we need. So continue to trust black trans leadership, lift them up, and remember, let their hate fuel our joy. Thank you so much. It's good to be with you. Come visit our table. Thank you, Lavender Rights Project. Next up. Do we have Daps or Twaxin? Come on up. Hello. Hi, I'm Rachel Ibarra. I'm a barista at Starbucks. I've worked for Starbucks for three years. Hi, my name's Quint. I use they, them, or ze, them pronouns, um, and I've worked for Starbucks for about four years now. Um, I currently work at the uh, Starbucks Roastery in Seattle. Um, um, my store is currently on strike for the next, uh, I think we're at 48 hours now. <laughs> uh, we walked out yesterday at 9 p.m. Um, due to unfair labor practices. <laughs> Big fans of the strike out here. Uh, Starbucks has been continuously taking down or refusing to let partners hang uh, LGBTQ pride flags in their stores like they have in years past um, and has discontinued um, the trans healthcare benefits that they've uh, implemented over the last few years. Um, Uh, so, yeah, we ask that you come visit us at our booth and sign our no contract, no copy pledge um, and visit me on the picket line in Capitol Hill. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all. Awesome. Thank you, Starbucks. Here, I'll grab the mic from you all. Oh, right here, right here. Right here. Just one mic. There you go. Thank you so much. All right.
It's incredible to see your beautiful faces. I'm seeing some familiar faces. I saw my uh, coworker from Public Health, uh, Courtney Moreno. Hi. Oh, Seattle drag legend, Geisha Stars in the house with Arden Turnbull. Hi, Geisha. Please catch Geisha at the main stage at uh, Capitol Hill Pride Fest tomorrow all day long. She'll be at the main stage. And uh, as you all remember, we just had uh, Angel Vanilla headline for Transpired Seattle celebrating 10 years. If you want to catch her all weekend long, she'll be at our Pride Asia Showcase at Capitol Hill Pride Fest at the Rainbow Stage at Republican and Broadway. And of course, at the main stage at Seattle Pride Fest, Rainbow Rising at Seattle Center following the parade all, all along 4th Avenue. Who's our next guest? Fox Whitney, hi. If you can hear my voice, come on down to our main stage. Lourdes, hi Lourdes. We've got our dear friend Lourdes. Hi, love. Mwah. Hi, everyone. Half a day. My name is Lourdes, they, them pronouns. I'm with Trans Women of Color Solidarity Network. Uh, we're honored to be a community partner um, with Trans Pride for the last few years. But I just wanted to share some of the things that we're doing in community and how you can get involved. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Um, we support with a community fund that's specifically for black, indigenous, trans women of color in community. And we also support trans folks broadly in the BIPOC community too. But we were recently gifted a house from the Seattle Mennonite Church. And we're gonna be doing some awesome housing solidarity work. So if you wanna learn more about how to get involved with us, we're gonna be getting through the motions of reconstruction and being able to create housing specifically for trans women of color and community um, from emergency housing to being able to have kind of a co-op run um, situation and we're hoping to have an open house this year and if you want to get involved and volunteer and learn how to work with us we would love to work with you well awesome Lourdes, what's the website? How can we uh, um, follow you? You can follow us on Facebook. We're still working on a website, but it's at TWOC Solidarity Northwest NW, and that's the same handle for our Instagram. Awesome. Thank you, Lourdes. Thank you. Salamat po. Awesome. All right. Oliver, come on up. Oliver Webb, y'all. <laughs> All right, hello everybody. Uh, you've heard me a couple times if you showed up early. My name's Oliver Webb. Uh, I am a board member of Gender Justice League. I am also your operations director today. Uh, I am also the executive director of Diversity Alliance of the Puget Sound, which is a presenting sponsor today. I am very uh, tired. <laughs> uh, and with me today is Fran Rourke who is one of our amazing board members and also is your medical lead today. So give Fran a round of applause, please. All right. Thank you so much. All right, so we are here to talk about Diversity Alliance of the Puget Sound, or DAPS, because that is a very long name. Uh, so uh, we're a 20 plus year old org. We started out of Tacoma, Washington about three years ago. I uh, took it over and we rebranded, restructured, and made it uh, statewide so that we could serve the rest of the amazing state, make it a little more accessible. We do a lot of online, uh, some in-person, make sure that we can have lots of holidays, uh, lots of meetups. We run uh, Trans Day of Remembrance Seattle and Tacoma. Uh, Seattle was started by Astra Pittman, who is another one of our amazing, amazing board members. One of our original board members, actually. Um, so yeah, so we do lots and lots of events. Check us out. We're on all of the socials. Um, we have an amazing website. And uh, yeah, so we're a pretty small org. Um, we have fully unpaid staff, including myself. Ran fully volunteer. Um, and we have a three month long pride season. So if you're at a pride, we are probably there. Uh, and we are, I believe in that row. So come see us, come say hi. Thank awesome. you so much for being Thank here. Thank you, Oliver Webb from Diversity Alliance and Puget Sound. 
And I must say, I do, I do, I, I do agree with the um, rebranding because it used to be called what was it? Uh, Gender Alliance of South Sound. Yeah, I prefer DAPS over GAS. <laughs> now you see what I mean. Now you remember. Now it's DAPS. All right. Ooh, what is this? A saxophone. It's a thing. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, we've got our next speaker, Elaine Wiley, who will be talking about Stan's choir, who you all just saw and listened to. Uh, oh, what happened to you? Check one, two. Hi, my name is Elaine Wiley. I'm one of the producers of Transpride Seattle. Thank you so much for being here, and thank you for the warm welcome that you gave Stan's Seattle, the choir. I got to be in the choir for about nine months until my producing duties took me away, but it was really important for me to be able to see that. I've been singing my whole life, and to be able to see a choir made entirely of trans and gender diverse people, to be able to present to this an audience of this size meant a lot to me. So thank you so much for being present for Seattle history. Now, Stance isn't just a fly-by-night little group. They're a real nonprofit organization. They're taking donations. And so if you feel really moved, certainly donate. But I'm standing up here, not about that. They're doing auditions. So if you want to sing at any skill level, go to stanceseattle.org and check out their audition schedule for the next season, which I believe begins in September. That's stance, S-T-A-N-C-E, Seattle, dot O-R-G. And I hope you have an opportunity to do that. Maybe next year we'll see a crowd twice as big here on stage. Thank you very much. Thank you, Lynn. I'm gonna put you to task. You said any level, I'm audition now. You'll see me up here singing, more like lip syncing. All right, welcome once again to, in this beautiful space, the amphitheater here at Volunteer Park in historic uh, Seattle's Capitol Hill for Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of joy of us and of our community. This is brought to you by Gender Justice League. And uh, we have one more? Oh, come on up. All right, we're getting set up for our next act. Um, I just want to wrap up our community um, share. I want to invite you all to, again, Pride Asia Showcase tomorrow at uh, Capitol Hill Pride Fest. We'll, we'll be at the Rainbow Stage at 4.30 p.m. We'll be uh, featuring Angel Bonilla from NBC's The Voice. And of course, you can catch her again at the main stage on Sunday at Seattle Center at the main stage, hosted by yours truly, Alexa Manila. And my, my amazing group of folks, my team from Public Health Seattle and King County are here from the pitch study. If you see folks approaching you to partake in the pitch study, it's an HIV surveillance uh, a longitudinal study. Uh, you get paid $50 uh, for your time and for, with free HIV testing as well. And my lovely folks from Project First, which is a trans-led and, and organized uh, uh, HIV study, is also here. Uh, they're recruiting folks to be part of our study for the next several months. So come say hi. Their booth is over there. That's NHPS uh, Public Health. And also, we're, we're doing our annual Pride Survey, again, with King County. And you can just go on the website, kingcounty.gov slash pride. And you can, it's just a five-minute survey for anyone within Washington State that's LGBTQ plus identified. It's like a five-minute survey, a health survey. It's all anonymous, and you can enter to win iPads. So it's really fun. Uh, we're giving you incentives. We're giving you, it's like the price is right. I love it. And, uh, yeah. And uh, it looks like we've got our next act ready to go. Oh my goodness, is it just the two of you? Do you need a, a trio, a third person? I mean, I still need to audition though. <laughs> Thank you. You've got all your mic, do, you need, do I need to leave you a microphone? We're all good, all right. Yeah, hey. Oh, hi.
Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours go by. And days and weeks and months and months and years and years and years. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. And days and weeks and months and months and years and years. I looked for you inside the house. I looked for you upstairs. I looked for you under the bed. I can't find you. Where are you? Hours and hours and hours. Years and years and years and years. And days and weeks and months and months and years and years. Where are you? I can't find you. I looked for you outside. I looked for you down at the bar. I looked for you in the smoking section. I can't find you. Where are you? Hours and hours and hours and hours. And days and weeks and months and months and years and years and years and years. And days and weeks and months and months and months and months and years and years and years. Hours. This is Otto. 
And we are live aloud. So we have a couple more songs for you. I'm gonna sing a Strokes cover. It's called I'll Try Anything Once because it speaks to my heart. <laughs> 10 decisions shape your life. You'll be aware of five about. Seven ways to go through school. Either you're noticed or left out. Seven ways to get ahead. Seven reasons to drop out. I said, I can see you in my eyes. You said, I can see you in my bed. That's not just friendship, that's romance too. You like music, we can dance to. Sit me down, shut me up. I'll calm down and I'll get along with you. There are times when we all fail. Some people take it pretty well. Others take it out on themselves. Some they just take it out on friends. Well, everybody plays the game. And if you don't, you're called insane. Don't, 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 it's not safe no more. I've got to see you one more time. That's when you were born in 1984. Sit me down, shut me up. I'll calm down and I'll get along with you. Everybody was well-dressed, and everybody was a mess. Six things without fail you must do, so that your they them loves just you. All the queers played mental games, and all the butches dressed the same. <laughs> Why not try it all? If you only remember it once Ooh. Ah. Sit me down Shut me up I'll calm down And I'll get along with you Who's that guy with the 
baseball bat He don't like me He don't like what he see Who's that guy At the bar Touching my shoulder Looking at me If you don't want to touch me Then why are you touching me? Who's that guy with the baseball bat? He don't like me. He don't like what he see. Who's that guy at the bar? Touching my shoulder. If you don't want to touch me. Touching me Once again, this is Light Aloud with Fox and Otto. Light Aloud, born out of a trans performance art group and transformed into a synth punk psych rock band. Once again, Light Aloud. Welcome once again to Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of trans joy, brought to you by Gender Justice League. My name is Alexa Manila. Welcome to Volunteer Park. How are y'all doing, Seattle? And all of the trans universe out there. Incredible. Yeah. Have you been checking out all the uh, community partners? Yes? Awesome. All right, we're going to get set up for our next act, y'all. If you have any special announcements, birthdays, anniversaries, engagements, baptisms, births, divorces, separations, we're all here for it. We're stronger together. It takes a village. <laughs> we celebrate all of our ups and downs. Hi, Deontay Damper. 
Say hi, Beyonce, everyone. Yeah, it's pro pronounced like Beyonce, but Deontay, because cause he broke. No, that's what he says. I didn't say that. I didn't make that up. He said that. And I saw my dear friend Kaya. Kaya was just here. Ro Yu from HIV Vaccine Trials Unit. Uh, Rye Armstrong was just here. The first non-binary uh, candidate running for city council for District 2. If you're still right here, come say hi to him and learn what his platform's all about for District 2 for Seattle City Council. All right. We're going to, uh, would you like some funky music with DJ Excessive? All right, I'm going to turn up my microphone and turn it over to DJ Excessive. Después de la playa, 
Gucci, no sé cómo. Yo traigo la toalla y de nuevo nos vamos. Pero en mi cama te voy a dar tabla de selfie, yeah. Dime pa' dónde vamos después de la playa. Si no se camó, yo traigo la toalla y de nuevo nos mamo. Para mi cama te voy a dar tabla de selfie al bebé. Dime, ¿vamos para el mambo o no vamos para el mambo? Tú me dices, mami. Zumba. Hoy sí que sí. Después de la playa, si no se camó, yo traigo la toalla y de nuevo nos mamo. Pero en mi cama te voy a hacer tabla de selfie al bebé. Mami, tú vives lejos, pero como quiera yo voy a buscarte. Porque tú estás buena y te lo mereces. Al frente del mar es que yo quiero darte. Pa' que se pongan contentos todos los peces. Y tú estás moja, yo estoy ready pa' selfiearte. Que yo sé que te a veces La otra vez en la playa te emborrachaste Y pediste que te beses yeah. I see you, Alyssa Lee From Emerald City Alyssa Lee Hey, girl Prende eso, prende eso, prende eso Vamos Ando con el apechado Que no me llame nadie hoy, ¿ok? Me lo voy a ver todo Todo el mundo borracho bailando en la playa Sintiendo el calor, sintiendo el calor Tú llevas rato mirando y mirando Pégate mejor, pégate mejor De esa chapa se habla en toda la barbería Y en el colmadón, y en el colmadón Ey, tú no, yo sé que Romeo Y yo le voy a hacer todo, le voy a hacer todo Falta tú. ¿Qué? 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 Estoy borracho, borracho. Hey, 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 hey. ¿Qué tú dices, Beto? No te voy a bajar, ¿ok? Come on down, folks. So we're getting set up for our next act. So join us by the main stage right here at the Amphitheater Volunteer Park for Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of trans joy, celebrating all of us together. Brought to you by Gender's Justice League. My name is Alexa Manila, and I'm with DJ Excessive. Buena y guaguancoea. Yeah. 
All right. Let's give it up one more time for DJ Excessive. Right here at Trans Pride Seattle, celebrating 10 years of trans joy. My name is Alexa Manila, and I'm so honored to introduce you to our next act. Our next act is the host of one of Seattle's premier open mic experiences called Seraphim at R Cafe Racer. They have staged uh, great stages across the country, including, listen up, listen up, Carnegie Hall in New York City. She's all the way from Alabama. She's here now in Seattle. Please give a warm Transpride Seattle welcome to Araya Jane.
Once again, my name is Araya Janae. I am a Southern Belle from Montgomery, Alabama. And one thing that we do well down south is we sing blues music and we sing about love. Can I sing about love for y'all today? Now, Gibby, when you hear love music, what you hear? I like that, Gibby. I think Gibby said, love and happiness. Something that'll make you do wrong and make you do right. I only got about 15 minutes up here, and I didn't use about 10 of them already. But I have to take this moment to talk to my trans sisters, my trans brothers, my gender non-conforming siblings. Hear me and hear me well, baby. You are strong. You are seen. You are valued. You are wanted. You are loved. So if nobody else tells you that day you love. Mariah Janae just wanted to say, I love you, baby. I love you, baby. Y'all mind if I sing y'all an original song and then I'm going to get out your way? All right. Give it, baby. Can I hear it how it sounds? You see, sometimes love don't feel good, y'all. Sometimes love is a little uncomfortable. So if you ever been in a love that hurt just a little bit, I wrote this one just for you, all right? Pull the trigger Uh... 
Incredible, incredible, incredible. We're just gonna turn over the stage and we'll be moving right along into our next act. How y'all doing, Seattle? Happy Trans Pride! Oh my goodness, we've got DJ Excessive in the house. Yeah, oh yeah. I saw Deontay. Oh. Yeah, uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Uh, Mama Jalen was watching you though. <laughs> Am I gonna dance? Girl, I've been dancing. Oh, turn it up, but turn it up over here, girl. All right. Get down on it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Thank you, Deontay. Oh my goodness. How you gonna do it if you really don't want to dance by standing on the wall? Get your back up off the wall. I heard all the people saying, Get down on it. Come on, and get down on it. If you really want it, get down on it. You gotta feel it. Get down on it. Get down on it. Come on, and get down on it. Baby, baby. Get on it. Get down on it. I say, people, what? Or what you gonna do? You gotta get on the groove. All right, let's get this party moving along. Our next act is one of Gender Justice League's very own, one of the directors at GJL. Please welcome to the stage, Ganesha. Everyone, I'm gonna. I don't know if it's okay. Mic check, mic check. Okay, we're okay. Hi, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. It's so nice seeing all your smiling faces. Given what we're enduring as a country right now, as a community, a collective community that is, it means the world to me that everyone's able to gather like this um, in healing community still. So thank you. This performance is called Boundaries. And um, it's an ode to um, how black trans women are not allowed boundaries um, in this world, um, particularly in this country. Um, and it's me forming an iron fist against that and against the, the patriarchy, against trans massage noir, both with my voice and with my body, so. You'll never see me again So who's gonna cry for you? You'll never see me again No matter what you do You'll never see me again So who's gonna cry for you? You'll never see me again Act one. I 
I shared it outside with a group of local scientists. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. They said they worried that the planet was headed for ecological ruin. And yet, the collective response, or lack thereof, was far more concerning. The task here is to cultivate critical thinking and yet dismantle the harmful systems that have created this dystopic mise-en-scene. We're talking about a very purposeful return to a matriarchal framework in which regeneration is prized above and far beyond extraction. I had a last night with these two beautiful humans I had met at the climate protest. Both of them had worked for a nonprofit that aimed to help get legal support for indigenous communities and land disputes. forgotten how necessary it is every once in a while. We slept in, all three of us, late into the afternoon, nestled in bed. When we awoke, we decided to take some I had left over from New Year's Eve. There was a rave that night. Our minds were filled with collective questions about ethics and Mother Earth. But our bodies, our bodies, our bodies they felt so right. Our bodies our felt right. so right. A pulsing strobe hit our eyes. I felt the thumping of a speaker. I, I, can, I can feel it in my, in my hands, in my, in my throat. I can, the smoke, I can barely breathe. Something, the bumping, bump, the, bump, the, the pulsing, pulse, and yeah. there was a sound. I can remember. I heard it so faintly, but then it came over me, and, and the sound of a song that went something like. Sure.
For T, for T. Next up, are you ready, Seattle, for more T for T? Solana Solstice.
every second Saturdays of the month on Kremwood. Our next show is July 8th. But before we say goodbye for, to Tea for Tea, please give it up for the hostess of Tea for Tea, be a bombshell! The next C for T is July 8, and I'll see you there. All right. Oh my gosh, look at you all beautiful people. Oh, uh, the fireflies are out. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us for Trans Pride Seattle right here in the in beautiful and historic Volunteer Park. We've got DJ Excessive. And by the way, would you help me give a big round of applause for our staff and our incredible volunteers? Our stage crew, incredible, our ASL interpreters, and of course, our leadership here at Gender Justice League. And to all of our community partners in the back, it looks like they've torn down their, their, uh, their, their booths, but check them out at their respective organizations. And to each and every one of you, give yourselves a big round of applause. Now, we couldn't end this legendary celebration of 10 years of Pride Joy with Trans Pride Seattle without giving you something equally, if not more legendary. So, for our last performers, they're an active collective of queers. Any queers out there? These are a collective of queers making a change happen in Portland, Oregon. So our, our, our sister city in the South. 
and you may not recognize them. They're from season three of HBO Max hit show, Legendary. Please give it up for the Kiki House of Ada! We've got Father Poppy Ada, Bobby Ada, Sephora Ada, Vanity Ada, Virgo Ada, but Father Poppy's got the microphone. He's gonna give it to us. Hello, hello. You can hear me now, right? Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Pride Month. Thank you for having us here, visiting all the way from Portland. I mean, we do got a Seattle girl, but we'll get to that in a second. <laughs> we do get to get to that in a second. All right, so I am Papi Ada, also known as Legendary Papi Ada, the overall father of the House of Ada. Yes, you can cheer for that. <sighs> um, I'm excited to introduce you to my children. Are y'all ready for that? Yes, cause, okay, because we were told y'all wanted a little bit of ballroom at this yeah! event. Okay, 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 okay. We got that. So, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna bring out one by one my little cunts over here. DJ, pump the beat. Let's go. Let's go. Brrr. Give it up. Four. Sephora. So alright, let's go. You ready, bitch? Let's go. Cha cha, cha cha, ooh, cha cha. Sephora, cha cha cha. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Brrr, let's go. I wanna see the S O P H O R A. Sephora, S O P H O R A. Sephora, 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 Sephora. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Let's go. I wanna see the S O P H O R A. Sephora, S O P H O R A. Sephora, Sephora, Sephora. Sephora, Sephora, Let's go. Ow! Come on now. Okay, Sephora. One more breakdown, bitch. We got one more breakdown. One more breakdown. One more. Listen up, listen up. I got a little house rules real quick. Cut the beat. Little house rules. So, y'all felt that, right? Okay, so that energy, we're gonna give it to every bitch that comes out here. Every one of them. Okay? And one little, one little note, one little education note real quick. When everyone, when you see them do that dip, when, they see, when you see them do this little... That's the sound I wanna hear. Ha, or eh, or eh, everything that, whatever comes out of you, I want to feel it, I want to hear it. Ah! Yeah. Ninja? We're going to battle later. I want to battle you. Later, later. I got to introduce my kids first. Okay, let's get to it, let's get to it. So, pump the beat. Okay, okay, you see her over here, up in the speaker, she ready to fuck it up, she ready to fuck it up, you ready, you ready, you ready, you ready, this is the prince of the house of Ada, give it up for my bitch, Virgo Ada, Virgo the vixen, Virgo Ada, that's it. Take your, take your time. Baby, take your, take your time. Baby, take your, take your, take your, take your time. Time, time. Take your, take your time. Baby, take your, take your time. Baby, take your, take your, take your, take your time. Time, time. 
We got three more for y'all. You ready? <clears throat> so I gotta, I gotta warm up my little vocal cord. So I'm gonna pass it on to Sephora. Hi. You met her earlier. Hi. Hi. Make some noise. I need to hear y'all scream, clap, all the things. Happy fucking Pride, Seattle. All right. Who we got for the next one? Who we bringing out? Who we bringing out? Who we? Oh. No, 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 no. Fab Queen of the House of Adar. DJ. DJ, can you pump the beat? N-E-L-L-I-E, I really wanna see you, I really wanna see you. N-E-L-L-I-E, I really wanna see you, I really wanna see you. N-E-L-L-I-E, I really wanna see you vote down for me. N-E-L-L-I-E, I really wanna see you vote down for me. Anali, 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 kwa, anali, 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 kwa, anali, 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 kwa, 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 Put a All right, DJ, cut the beat, cut the beat. Thank you. I'm gonna pass my mic back to Fafa. Oh, I lied. DJ, can you pump the beat? Just pump the beat. Just pump the What, what, just pump the beat. Clap your hands, y'all. Clap your fucking hands. Clap your fucking hands. Clap your fucking hands. It's Bobby. Legendary. I'm so, uh, all I really wanna be is an icon or a statement. No, it's legendary. What? I'm so, uh, all I really wanna be is an icon or a statement. No, it's legendary. I'm cut to the in a what? I'm cut to the in a what? I'm cut to the in a what? I'm cut to the in a. I wanna see, I wanna see a breakdown. You ready? You ready? I wanna see a break down. Put a cap, put a cap, 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 all right, we got one more. 
Y'all enjoying yourselves tonight? <laughs> so, for this one, I just have to let it be known. <sighs> Not only is she the only Seattle Ada on the lineup, <laughs> but this little car right here, she is the new mother of the chapter of House of Ada. That's right. Pump the beat for my bitch. Coco, mother, Coco, Ada. Mother, Coco, Ada. Mother, Coco, Ada. Mother, 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 mother. It's a mother, Coco, Ada. It's a mother, Coco, Ada. It's a mother, mother. Mother, mother, la mamá de 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 la la mamá de la mamá de la mamá, la mamá de 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 la mamá, mata Ada, mata Ada, let's go, ow, that's mother y'all, you gotta give her more energy than that, ah, bitch, come on bitch, whoop whoop, ow. Okay. Yo. Listen, cut the beat real quick. Cut the beat, cut the beat, cut the beat. Let me bring all my Adas out here. Let's come up to the stage real quick. So far, are you too, bitch? Get over here. <laughs> so. Before we let you go, I was here in the audience, and I see some of you bitches. We got some ballroom in the audience. So, real quick, we're gonna pump the beat. I know there's a ninja. I know you were like, oh, we had a ninja here. Come out here. Come out here. Everyone is feeling it. Let's pump the beat. We're gonna give you one last, one last little moment. Let's go. Let's go. Wait a minute. What? Yo, fuck it up, come on, come on, take the fence with us, bitch, let's go, come on. Them queen, them queen, let me hold that for you, baby. Come on, let's go. Ooh, start the beat. Okay, let's repeat the beat from the start. Cut the beat, cut the beat. Listen, we got a fem queen coming up. Fem queens to the front, we want to highlight you, this is your pride. Yeah, you already know, come on, come on. Come line up, come line up. Que paso? Give me a sec. Fem queens first, right? So, pump the beat. Let's go. It is trans pride, y'all. Let's go, fam queen. Whoop, whoop, ow! Come on, let's go. Put the tuna coin, ow! Fam coin. All right, the next one. Can I see the next one? The next one. It's Ari, Ari. It's Ari, Ari. Pop your fucking head. Pop your fucking head. Sephora, Sephora, what, 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 what? Cut, cut, I cut it off, I'm in it, I what? Ha, cut it off, I'm in it, I said I cut it off, I'm in it, I what? I said I cut it off, I'm in it, I cut it off, I'm in it, I cut it off, I'm in it, I what? Woo! Put it, cut, 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 c
Fuck what? Fuck it up, bitch. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, bitch. Do you, do you, what, what, do you, 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 And we didn't prep a runway beat, but you can still walk to whatever, you know? So just pump the beat. It's gonna be a boat track. But you're gonna fuck it up for us. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Pump the runway, eat the runway, serve the runway, work. Pump the runway, eat the runway, serve the runway, work. Pump the pump, 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 walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk, walk. Let's go, ow! European runway, y'all. This is a fan queen right here. I need to hear y'all. Let's go. Fan queen. Come on, bitch. Give it up. Give it up, y'all. Do we have anybody else? We got room for one more. One more, any more, any more? You want to showcase? Give us a little something, give us a little walk, let's go. Okay, ninja. Okay, ninja. Let's go. Clap your hands. 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 Cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. Cha 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 cha. Yo, I need y'all to start. Let's finish it up. Let's finish it up. Come on, fuck it up. I need my Ada's back out. Everyone that came out, fuck it up right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In ballroom, we call this a frenzy. Everybody, come on, pixie bitch. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, bitch. Come on now. Okay, bitch. I know, bitch. I know. Pussy. All right, y'all. Listen. I know some of you probably only see. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Some of you probably only see shit like this during Pride and performances. But you got a ballroom scene. You got a kiki scene here in Seattle. You got a kiki scene in Tacoma. You got a kiki scene in Portland. Like we're out there. Support us. You just saw House of Mattel, House of Sephora. Yeah. There are local houses fucking it up. Y'all need to support them too, you know? Give us that love. But yeah, we are the House of Ada. Thank you for seeing this. Thank you for giving us all the energy. We'll see you later. Once again, the legendary House of Ada with Father Papi Ada. And friends, once again, on behalf of Gender Justice League, Happy Trans Pride, Seattle! Thank you to all of our friends, our leadership, our crew, our community partners, our incredible volunteers, Ezra and company. Thank you so very much for leading the pack. Our headliners, of course, you just saw House of Ada, Angel Bonilla, all of our friends that popped in, DJ Mix America, DJ Excessive, our Kelsama audio crew, our community partners. Special shout out to Yari Jones, all the way from New York City. Thank you, and our fearless leader, Danny Eskini. Congratulations to your crew and your leadership. Thank you. We will see you the rest of Seattle Pride Weekend, y'all. My name is Alexa Manila, and in my native tongue of the Philippines, maraming salamat po. Follow my journey at alexamanila.com, and follow me on all the social media outlets. It's free. <laughs> Good night, everyone. And one last ask. We're gonna keep playing music. 
But if you can all help with the trash, just like your ex, put it in the garbage <laughs> or recycle it, all right? Just help us with that so then that way we can come back to Volunteer Park and party again, all right? We'll see you next year for the 11th Annual Trans Pride Seattle. And keep, keep supporting Gender Justice League. Check us all out at genderjusticeleague.org. Thank you and good night.